Hi, I'm Jessica with Gold Rush Expeditions. I am at the Dr. Mining Claim, 25 miles outside of Gunnison, Colorado, and we're looking at what used to be an adit. It definitely needs to be cleaned out before it will be accessible again. And a shack with a bunch of old tools, equipment. I found a bunch of railroad spikes. They're long, they're thick, they're big. This tells me there was thick track, which would have had to be supportive for big ore cars. Big ore cars that carried large loads of ore out of it. I've also found crusher balls. The crusher balls would have been in a ball mill and they would have been put in with ore. They would spin round and round and round and crush the ore up into smaller pieces, making it easier to process and get the actual gold out of it. We've also sat, found some barbed wire, old nails, gas cans, a stove flume. All of this stuff that was left was used in support of the mining operations. At Gold Rush Expeditions, this is exactly what we look for. We look for sites that are historical, sites that historically have produced large amounts of gold, silver, copper, things that can make you money today. I'm standing right next to a big boiler. This big boiler wouldn't have been here originally. It's either fallen down the mountain or somebody's tried to move it off the mountain. Simply by the position of it, it should be laying down. This boiler would have heated up water and it would have created steam. The steam then would have been used to either power drills or there's a water pump over here. It may have got the water pump spinning where it was bringing water out of a mine if they had water issues here, or it may have been taking pressure to the drills to give them that pneumatic pressure that they need for the drills to run. Not the original position, it's definitely dilapidated. Here is a shed that may have once housed the boiler. Maybe it was over here at one point in time. It's really hard to say, but I know that historically the doctor was huge. There's lots of buildings down below, and I know we're gonna be able to find tons of history and hopefully some pictures that will show us where hopefully this boiler originally would have been. This stream is full of pyrite, mica, and gold. Black sand is a lot of what you hear with plaster mining because in black sand is where you find your gold. On both sides of this stream, there is deposits of black sand with nice little shiny pyrites and golds in it. You could come pan this out and pull some gold right out of the stream here. The reason this gold is here is from the mines up above. During spring runoff, the water melts, breaks up the gold from the mountain where it's at currently, kind of hitches a ride with the water, and then comes down into the streams. When it gets to a spot that it can settle down a little bit and it's not rushing, then the gold is heavy, and so it settles down into these little pockets. That's why you have plaster mining. There are two types of mines, plaster and load. The doctor claim here will have both. A load claim only covers minerals or gold, silver, that's currently in the rock where it originally started. So if you had a load claim, you technically wouldn't have rights to the minerals in this stream, which is why at Gold Rush, we also put a plaster claim. The plaster claim covers minerals or gold that have washed from their original place, which was in the rock, and basically migrated somewhere else. You need to have one of both of those claims to do whatever kind of mining you're looking for. Here at the doctor, we have both load claim and plaster claim because we've got mineral in the rock and in the streams down below. I'm sitting right now in front of a Carl's cabin, as it says behind me. These cabins on the doctor claim are in such good repair. It tells me one thing, this is not private property. We've already checked, we've double checked, we've triple checked. You would think with how good these look, they are private property, but they're not. This is located on Forest Service land and the former claimant took the time to jump through the hoops, put in his notice of operations, file the permits that he needed to actually repair these cabins and make them a place that is actually inhabitable. Every single one of these cabins is in really good repair because the former claimant went in, jumped through the hoops, did everything that he needed to do to be able to use these cabins in support of his mining operation. We hope that the next claimant, whoever purchases this claim from Gold Rush, will do the same thing, be able to put in their notice of operation, file the permits, and be able to inhabit this cabin when they're here up working their mining claim. Again, we've talked about filing permits and notice of operations in the past. You have to do that in order to inhabit a cabin like this and spend time up here while you're on your mining claim. This claim is available for purchase. And if you would like more pictures, more video, visit our website, www.goldrushexpeditions.com or give us a call.